campfire is a long-standing tradition passed down from one generation to another. Hey folks, two interesting stories from two different regions and time period highlighting values and virtues. Are you ready for it? Of course. Have you heard of King Bhojraj? Hmm? He was the king of Dharanandi, Central India, a man of letters. He was a great patron of poets. The famous poet Kalidasa adorned his kingdom. Once, when King Bhoj and his friend Kalidasa went walking out in the countryside, they lost their way as they were deeply immersed in literary and philosophical discussion. They approached an old woman for help. Respected mother, where does this road go? The road doesn't go anywhere. It stands here. Only people who walk on it will go somewhere. So tell me, who are you? We are travelers. Travelers are only two. The sun and the moon. Tell me truly, who are you? We are guests. Guests are of two kinds, youth and wealth. Who are you? We are two of great ability. There are only two of great ability. One is the earth, the other is a woman. But you look neither of them. Who are you? We are kings. There are only two kings. One is Indra, king of gods. And other, Yama, king of death. Who are you? The king and the poet were becoming increasingly lost for words in the face of the woman's astonishing replies. We accept our defeat. There are only two defeated people in the world. One is a man burdened with debt and the other is a man without good qualities. I argued just to make you understand that one should not judge a person by his or her appearance. What emerges from the story is the strength that common people derive from their education. Not only this, it is also obvious that in ancient India, there was ample opportunity for a healthy dialogue between a king and his subjects. Hey folks, time for another story. This is a Burmese folk tale. Burmese people are fond of believing that puppets will guide them at times of difficulties. Once, there was a puppet maker. He had a son named Om. The father always hoped his son would grow up to be a puppet maker. But to Om, such a life was far from exciting. I wish you would stay here, my son, but if you must go, let me give you companions for your life. The first puppet was a god's virtue, wisdom. Second was a green augur, strength. Third was a mystic sorcerer, knowledge. Fourth, holy hermit, goodness. I wonder if this place is safe. Let me check with the King of Gods. Open your eyes. Look around. That's the first step to wisdom. If you fail to see what's right before you, it will be easy for others to misguide you. Goods. I wish I could own them. How can I gain such riches? If you have strength, you can. Ong is enchanted with 
with a beautiful girl. Don't worry. Come with me. I'll take care of you. Now that I have all these riches, what should I do? Learn the secrets of nature. This is wonderful. I can see farms, mountains, rich minerals. Knowledge is power. Keep it to yourself. Ong becomes a merchant. Lives in luxury. Where are you? I want to marry you. Ong remembered he hadn't yet called the fourth puppet Hermit. Tell me what went wrong. You imagine the wealth brings happiness. True happiness comes only from goodness. From then, he uses his wealth and talents to do good. Might is not right. Wealth cannot buy love. Wealth alone cannot give happiness. Knowledge alone might lead to disaster. Might and knowledge must be guided by wisdom and goodness.